Hello lovelies, it's Nurse Ags back with another video. And as promised, today I'll be talking to you all about the top five questions you'll be asked in your nurse interview. So if you are interested, then please stay tuned. All right, so we're just gonna hop right into it. The very first question you will be asked in your nurse interview is, tell me about yourself. This is a very broad and open book question. You wanna be wary of not going into your hobbies, what your favorite color is, because that's not what they care about. Um, instead, you should talk about one, your educational background, two, your relevant experiences as it you know, pertains to the position you're applying for, and then three, your goals. So, for example, you will start off saying, you know, my name is so-and-so, um, I, I am a recent graduate from blank university, I have a strong or primary interest in blank, you know, it's going to be related to whatever job you're applying to, and then you'll go into talking about um, saying, you know, I've been able to develop this interest um, through various volunteer work, um, job shadowing experiences, such as, and then you're going to go ahead and list those different experiences. And then you're going to conclude by saying something along the lines of, I would love to continue to feed this interest by working um, as a blank nurse and catering to whatever population it is that you're catering to. Okay, so that's just kind of an example or kind of like a outline, I guess I should say, to answer that question. All right, moving right along. The second most likely question you will be asked in your nurse interview is why nursing or they want to know why that certain specialty um, field. So, for example, if it's a labor and del delivery nursing position you're applying for, then they'll ask why labor and delivery nursing or why postpartum nursing, why pediatric nursing, et cetera, et cetera. So I would approach this question by sharing a story. Stories are very relatable and I think they're a lot more believable as well. So whether that be something in your childhood, something during your nursing clinicals, something that was illuminating during you know, a volunteer experience, I don't know. But whatever it is, go ahead and share that story with them to kind of so they can have a better understanding as to you know why you're interested in working on that floor, that unit. Because I mean, I feel like whenever you have a strong interest for something, um, or when you're interested in something in general, then you are better at it. So I think that's why they really want to know um, why that certain area of nursing. Okay, so moving right along. The third most likely question you will be asked in your nurse interview is, ugh, I think it's one of the most dreaded questions, but it's really any, tell me about a time when dot, dot, dot. So of course we hate these questions because you never know what's gonna come after that dot, dot, dot. We call these our situational questions. And the best way to prepare for these is to go ahead and to plan three examples um, to kind of be able to answer any situational question they might throw your way. So these examples I would recommend should include one, some type of conflict with um, a coworker, um, some type of conflict or disagreement with a patient, or a patient, and then some type of conflict or I don't know something that's you know something that happened with you yourself alone. Okay. Usually with these situational questions, they are really looking to see that you're able to handle conflict, whether it's with a coworker, a healthcare provider, or um, even within yourself. Um, they also want to see that you are able to learn from your mistakes and that you are self-aware of what your mistakes are, because I think it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. That's natural. Like no one's perfect. So they're not expecting for you to be this perfect person that's never, you know, has no weaknesses, but rather they want to see that you're able to recognize when you've made these mistakes and you've learned from them. And also I think these situational questions are looking to see that you can work well under pressure. So as I kind of hinted in my last video, there are multiple ways of asking the same question. They might ask you, tell me about a time you were in emergency. That's the same way of asking, tell me about a time you were under pressure. Or they might ask you, tell me about a time you uh, made a mistake, um, what was the outcome and what did you do about it? That's the same way of asking, you know, what is your weakness? They might ask you, tell me about a time when you were in conflict. That's the same way of asking, 
tell me about the time you had to intervene with a patient and what did you do? So a lot of these questions, questions can be similar and that's why I say go ahead and have three strong examples to share with them in your back pocket that can address any of those questions and that will that will keep you secure right from the jump. And like I said, whenever you start practicing with you know your family member, uh, mentor, um, etc., go ahead and you know that's your opportunity to see if the examples that you have kind of picked out or selected that they um, can be applicable to any situation or question. And also, um, not only having these examples, but at the end of whatever situation or question they ask you, you need to be sure to kind of have a positive um, at the end of that story. So what you learned, what skill set you gained from that, from that experience. So just one example might be a conflict you might have with a peer or a coworker. So it might be something related to communication where, you know, there is one of one of y'all did not communicate to each other, you know, something. And at the end of that whole conflict, you realize the importance of communication and you've been able to really strengthen that skill set of yours and um, grow it. Boom, right there. That's something that they, they want to see that you're able to learn from each situation that you've been put in and that, you know, you can grow from them. So moving right along. Um, the fourth most likely question you will be asked in your job interview is, where do you see yourself in three years, five years, 10 years, however many years? So for this question, if you are a nurse, if you are a nurse, if you are a new nurse like I was, then for one important short-term goal is to become a competent, safe practicing nurse. Okay, that's an obvious one. Um, to add to that, you might, if it's like a three-year goal, you might say you would see yourself taking advantage of educational opportunities that the unit has to offer. Um, and then you, if you do have goals to become an advanced health nurse practitioner, you might say, you know, down the road, maybe five years plus, I do see myself going back to school to advance my education. You may or may not know what that looks like. Sometimes I think it might be safer to kind of um, say, I don't know what that looks like yet. Because you never know, you know, if you might have to move and you might have to leave that hospital. And you don't want to put in that interviewer's head that you weren't going to, you don't plan on being there for an extended period of time because they don't want to invest in you if you don't plan on investing in them. Um, in addition to this question, you can also include how you hope to get involved in your professional organization, which I definitely advise for any new nurse or nurse in general. They have a professional organization for every and any specialty field, as well as just like a general nursing organization. So, you know, if it's labor and delivery nursing, you might say, um, I hope to become an active member of A1, which is the Association of Women's Health. Um, obstetric and neonatal nurses um, and you can say like you know why that's important to you it might be because you want to you know just really connect with other nurses who are just as passionate um, on women's health as you are or you just want to kind of stay in the know of the latest evidence-based practices um, so those are kind of some things to or uh, some ways to address that question Okay, hopefully that helps y'all out. And then the final and the fifth question that you will likely be asked in your nurse interview is, why should we hire you? Okay, so this is a really good question because this is your opportunity to sell yourself to the interviewer. You are going to tell them, you know, not only how passionate you are in this area of nursing or nursing in general, but you are going to list to them relevant experiences that have equipped you with the skills that will be an asset to their unit. Um, and that's really the key there, is just kind of um, selling your skill set and your strengths and you know, just kind of showing them why you would be the best fit for the, for the job. So like I said, talk about um, past relevant experiences, about your strengths, and then um, just your passion in the area. And, just reel them on in that way. So I hope that really helps you all to kind of start preparing and practicing for your nurse interviews coming up this year. Um, as I said before, practice is the key. Um, my very first nurse interviews, they were quite rough. I'm not going to lie, but it was really like the latter interviews that I had that were a lot more smooth. And by then, like I had had so many interviews that 
you know, I, I, I was able to answer the questions with ease. It was more of a conversation. And I feel like whenever you are able to make it more of a conversation with the interviewer, those are the best interviews, I'm telling you. Um, so just practice, 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 you know, with family, mentor, etc. Um, please check out my last video where I you know, talk all about how to prepare, pack, and practice your um, practice for your nurse interview so that you can kill it. And hopefully all these tips can really just help you become more prepared and know what to expect going in. If you have any questions at all, any um, concerns or questions, just please leave them below in the comment box and I'll be sure to respond to them. Um, thank you again for watching and I will see you all on the next one.